What's up everybody, Giacomo Thalé here and it's time for our first edition of Trailer Breakdown. Eels. So for those of you who have already been on Twitter today um, or watched the Grammys, you already saw Disney drop the first um, actual preview of their live action Aladdin. Um, we saw a quick glimpse of it a couple months ago, but it wasn't really telling as to, you know, what exactly we're gonna get. Um, this one is for better or worse, um, actually something that we can uh, start judging and nitpicking at, um, both unfairly and rightly. Aladdin holds a very special place in my heart, and I know it does in a lot of people's. It was a, a lot of people's first introduction into the Disney musical genre. Um, it's got great songs, um, iconic performance by the incomparable Robin Williams, beautiful animation, and just one of the best animated films I think I've ever seen in my life. Not that I think I know I've ever seen in my life. And you might be complaining like, why are you gonna touch something as classic as Aladdin? Hell, why are you gonna touch Beauty and the Beast, Lion King, Dumbo? The list goes on and on and on. Um, and really the reason is you. You did this. I did this. We're all f***ing culprits here. We're the ones shelling out the money for the movie tickets. If you were Disney, what else would you do? Would you start creating original stuff? See what? See how that happened? Uh, insert montage of failed Disney shit here. Like I said in my video last week, nostalgia is the prime money maker right now in Hollywood and corporate America. So why aren't you gonna milk that tea a little bit more, right? Um, case in point, jumping right into this thing. Now I'm not gonna try to act like this is the first time I've seen the trailer. Um, I'm not gonna try to bogus you with some fake reaction. I synced it. I synced it a couple times. But I want to sync it with you. So let's sync it together. begins now okay first problem what the is wrong with Jafar why does his voice sound like that remember remember Jonathan Freeman's voice in the original Aladdin a snake am I perhaps you'd like to see how snake like I can be the, the dude even played him on Broadway this guy sounds like Kevin Hart when he's doing that sissy boy voice Aladdin no <laughs> No, she she wasn't ready. The only way I'll be a little bit more forgiving of this is if you know Jafar is just pulling off a facade, like a nice guy persona, to uh, persuade Aladdin to go get him the lamp. Because if you remember in the original, he turns himself into like a helpless old man. Um, here, he it just looks like himself. Like the colors here are popping. I like that. Um, the the Prince Ali sequence is probably one of my favorite sequences in any movie. Period. I'm not I'm not here to just talk shit on on a trailer. You know, um, you got your pros and your cons. And also, um, you know, I, I wouldn't mind working with Disney at any point, And I don't want any you know bad blood between us. If you need me to you know take this video off of YouTube Disney at any point, just so we can you know work together, it's fine. I'll sell out. I don't give a shit. You really don't know who I am. Genie, wishes, lamb, none of that ringing a bell. Okay, what the fuck is this? This looks like, um, I don't know, this is maybe a, a very obscure reference, but there were these like direct-to-video thumb movies that were going around in the like early 2000s. Uh, Will Smith looks like one of those. He kind of looks like uh, like the school jock at, at, at the school that the Avatar people go to. What the f***? Granted, maybe they're polishing up the VFX a little bit still. Um, this is terrifying. I don't like it. You need to stop. 
people were complaining when that Entertainment Weekly cover came out with Will Smith and he wasn't blue. And then he's, he tweeted like, I'm gonna be blue, y'all, I'm gonna be blue. That was my Will Smith impersonation. I'm sorry if that was offensive. So he wasn't lying. He is blue. I wish he wasn't. Like, look at the Broadway version. The dude's kind of just decked out in blue, and it still gets the point across. That wasn't enough for me to judge whether or not he's going to be a good genie, um, but it was enough for me to judge that I'm going to shit my pants um, tonight because I have delayed reactions to fear. So what did we learn from that, everybody? Um, we learned that Disney is going to do anything and everything for that paycheck. This might be the deciding factor of whether or not um, this formula is going to keep working. For something as big as Aladdin, this is the one that looks like the most underwhelming and mediocre to me. And the fact that it is such a staple of the Disney library, um, it's really gonna make or break, I think, this decision of how to move forward. But I'm not wishing ill on the film, it's actually the opposite. I really want this to be good. I am a huge fan of uh, the big screen live action musical. You can kind of see um, in the background I have like this dope ass like La La Land poster because that's one of my favorite movies. I also have uh, Deadpool. It's Deadpool, but he's poo. Um, so you see I, I'm a Disney fan. I want this to work so bad. Um, so please, please Disney. Just don't. Uh, what do you guys think of the new genie's look? What do you guys think of Jafar and how he's showing up? How do you think of the whole cast and how it's coming out? Um, are you gonna see it? Of course you are. But, you know, if you're not, tell me why not. Like it, comment, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff. Um, I'll be back with you, hopefully within the next week with some more content. Um, if you like this trailer breakdown, let me know what other movies in the future you want me to break down the trailer. Hell, there might be a trailer out right now that you want me to uh, kind of dissect a little bit. Uh, leave a comment below. Uh, this is Giacomo, uh, signing off till next time, and um, I would try to find like a nice like Aladdin themed pun to end it on. Um, but I don't want to.